Today's show is all about getting rid of an audio track off of DJI Cached video that was killing me the other day and I couldn't figure it out and I finally did and I want to share that with you and in case you don't want to watch the whole show, you just want the solution, the solution is to get a piece of software called iConv, short for iConvert, I-C-O-N-V on your iOS device and that will strip out that extra audio. If you want to see the rest of the show, want to learn how it all is done, then stick around. We're coming right to it. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live daily photo show on YouTube every weekday morning, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. If you're not watching live, you could be and you should be. As you can see, we have a very active audience today, partially because I was live long before it was supposed to be live. I have no idea what was going on there. But as you can also see in here, if you want to get my attention, you type in the at photo Joseph in front of the comment and that shows up live and big on my screen so I can see what's going on there. Uh, Martin says he likes the new opening. We're just trying something different. You know, you're always changing things up. Always got to try things out. Hey, real quick, a um, little housekeeping. It looks like Someone else is saying they did not get a GH5 training email. So it looks like that didn't go out for some reason. So I'll send another one. But if you're watching this and you have pre-ordered the GH5 training, th another batch of videos did go up on Monday. I sent out an email Monday night, but apparently that didn't go because I've, multiple people have said that they did not get it and no one has said that they have. So check your, uh, check your downloads. Just go to gh5training.com and then click on the, you know, once you've logged in, go to the My Downloads under the Me menu, Me, My, Me menu, and uh, go to the downloads. And there's a bunch more there, all of... The rest of chapter three, all of chapters five and six are up there, and we will have more videos, I believe, going up either today or tomorrow. I think I just saw an email from my audio engineer saying that another batch was done. So we're getting closer there, really getting a lot closer here. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's have a little show. So here's, here's the story. So yesterday, last evening, oh, it's beautiful sunset, oh, which actually culminated in an epic thunderstorm at 3.30 in the morning here in Ashland, woke me up, Ryan slept through it, woke up the entire city except him and it was a massive anyway but the night before last night there was this beautiful sunset you just saw the video in the opening and i thought oh i'm gonna send out my little drone get a little sunset footage and and i fire it up and i connect it and it says memory card not installed i've done this before like you know, you got the little tiny itty bitty winky dinky little memory card. Well, my SD card. And that goes into here and that goes into here. And then you capture footage and then you leave this in your bag and you go off and you don't leave. And I actually, I was looking for this. I couldn't find it when I left the studio last night. I dropped it into the wrong pocket on my bag. I was running late. I couldn't find it. Didn't think it really mattered, so I didn't stress over it too much, but then I didn't realize that I didn't have the memory card. So I did not have the memory card to capture the footage on my drone. Fortunately though, when you have your DJI software set to, it's not called cache, they call it something else, but essentially it, maybe it is called cache. It keeps a, the local copy that streams to, excuse me, streams to your phone. It keeps that on the phone, even, even when you hit record, even if it doesn't have the recording card in there. Like, okay, well, it's, you know, at least I'll get 720p. It may not be perfect, but I'll get something. So I flew a little bubble claw, flew around a little bit and had some fun with it. Okay, yeah. So I get back inside and I have this beautiful shot, 720p, that's fine. We'll throw some music on it and make a little movie. And when you're recording on the phone, it picks up the audio from the phone. That's part of its feature. So you can talk and you know, have your dialogue. And I could not get rid of that audio track. Could not get, it wouldn't go away. This audio track, of the propeller buzzing, would not go away. And I don't exactly know why. We're going to look at that a little bit on the show live. I kind of poked at it a little bit and I might have an idea, but I don't know that we'll all ever really truly understand it. But I am going to show you how I worked around it because I think this is really kind of, you know, someone else might run into, <coughs> someone else might run into this. Excuse me while I choke and gag here. So first, let me show you how I did this. What I wanted to do well, I was going to show you how I captured the, pulled the video file out of the DJI software, but that you just go into the video's cache there and you just download it to your phone. I can't show it to you now because my DJI app has logged me out and apparently every time it does that, I have to change my password. But this is what we're going to do. I'm going to launch iMovie and here we go. And in iMovie, I click on the plus to create a new movie and we create a new little movie here. And, 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 and. Uh, Christopher Berry is saying it is an option to not record audio within the app settings. That's great, but I actually, I like that. I like having the audio on there. It's kind of cool. Okay, so um, here we go. So this is here. My, the video file that I want is that one that's 23 seconds and in the middle there. So I'm going to top that one. That's the one. Okay, create movie from that. 
And if I play this right now, we should hear the propeller nice and loud. Uh, iOS audio is on. There we go. There we go. So you hear that? That's the propeller. Okay, so that's what I don't want. But that's, you know, okay, easy. That's easy to get rid of, right? So I hit plus and I add some music. I go into audio and I have been building up a playlist in iTunes, which is synced across all my devices, which is really cool, of licensed music. This is music that I have paid for. And the song that I chose was called Grass. Here we go. Preview that. Uh, there it goes. That's what you just heard. Okay, so I'm going to tap on use. That drops on the timeline. Hit play. Okay, now we're hearing both. Okay, well, that makes sense, right? So now I'm going to select this audio track, uh, the video track, go to the speaker here, and take that audio all the way down. And now I hit play, and the audio is gone, exactly as it should be. So I hit done, and at this point, what I would have done, what I did do, is export that out as a movie. But the problem is that the audio track of the drone is still there. I don't have to export it to show this to you. I can actually just play it from here. So if I just play it here, see, it's there. So annoying. So I go, okay, what's going on here? So I go back in, let's edit the project again. Go double check, it's off. I mean, it's off, right? And so I tried like, okay, let's set it to 1% level. I did that, but then it ducks down the, the music in the background, which I guess I could probably turn off auto ducking. I think that's a feature somewhere in here. But it, this is annoying. This is not working the way it's supposed to. And I'm just, I'm going crazy. Okay, so iMovie, and I'm blaming iMovie at this point. iMovie, you piece of junk. You're not stripping out the audio where you're supposed to be. Fine. I have this fabulous little app called LumaFusion on my iPad. So I transfer yonder video file over to my iPad, fire up LumaFusion, and we're going to solve the problem here because I got much better control over my audio and everything else here. So let me get this fired up and then I'll switch over to the screen. Luma Fusion. There it is. And all right, so now we're in Luma Fusion and I go, all right, let's create a new movie. So I tap on the, uh, there we go. No, that's the wrong one. There we go. Tap on that. Tap on the plus in the bottom left. And we're going to call this sun, Sunset 2 because we already have one. Uh, 30 frame, aspect ratio 16 by 9, create the project, voila, perfect. Okay, so now I look at my movie files up at the top. It is this one right here. That's the one I want, so I drag that guy in. And there you can see there's the sound. Okay, there it is. So then I go, uh, hold on, I'm going to make this a little brighter so I can see what's going on here. My own screen's too dark. Um, all right, so that's there. I hear this. hear the sound. Okay, well, I have ability to mute that. I'm gonna select this guy, and the first thing I did, and this is the first hint to me that something really weird was going on, is I hit detach, and detach detaches the audio, and then I can select the audio, select the audio, and delete it. But it doesn't sound like it's there, but there's still a waveform. So I'm going, okay, that's weird. Why is that waveform there? And I'm gonna tell you right now, it didn't work, so I'll, I'm, I'm just going to show you another thing that I tried. So, okay, that didn't work. So, let's go back to this. And I'm going to, uh, let's see, let me undo, undo. So, I just start, at this point, let's just pretend I started all over again. So, we got my sound in there again. Okay. I have ability to, isn't this incredible? This is on an iPad. It's insane. So, I have, you can see the channel there that's making the noise. It is, it is this one right here. So, you can see that's the one right there. And I can take that all the way down. So that's what I'll do, right? I'll just mute the track that way. Perfect. Okay, so that's good. Let's bring in my music again. Uh, wrong one. Let's go to iTunes. Go to, go to, uh, what am I looking for? Playlists. And then I go to my royalty-free license playlist. And I find the song Grass. There's the one. Let's, that's the one. Let's drag that guy on there. Oops, let's actually put that in the right place. That would be a good idea. Pinch that out a little bit. Come here, you. Get into place. Perfect. And now when I play this, we have the music and we don't have the propeller. See the propeller's here. There's the propeller. We mute that and we're good. And so then I go up here to export and I choose movie and I choose to the photo app and we're actually gonna do this. And resolution 720, cause that's the native size of this thing. Um, and that's it, that's all I'm gonna do, right? Okay, good. Export that, writing the movie and, oh shoot, it's taking a long time cause I forgot to trim the audio. Let me trim the audio down. Trim the audio, we don't need all this audio. Come here. Grab this and let's trim that down, trim that down, trim that down. And I actually did a little bit more to it. Let's just do the full edit. We may as well, right? So what I did was I trimmed this to right before, if we listen to the music, it kind of, it starts another tune, which not another tune, another bar. I don't know anything about music. So we're going to hear this and then it's going to go up to done again. Okay, so I wanted to trim it before that. So, hey, look at that. We got the waveform. We can see it. Beautiful. Let's trim that down. 
and then we trim up the video to match. And there we go. And then I added a little fade of black. We may as well do the whole thing, right? Let's go in here. We'll go to transitions, grab a simple little cross dissolve, drag and drop that onto the end on there. Gonna have that a little bit longer fade out. And let's do a fade to black on the video as well. Just the last little bit of it. Let's hear what that looks like. Perfect. Okay, great. So now we've got the video. We're all set and ready to go. Let's export this thing. So movie, photos app, it's all set. We hit export and this will render out lickety split quick. And we're thinking, all right, now we solved the problem, haven't we? Yes, we have. Save is complete. Let's go down to the Photos app, open that guy up, and let's get out of that. And here it is today. There's today's video. Not that. Let's just play it back. And WTF. Like, seriously, I'm going nuts at this point. I have stripped it out in iMovie. It didn't work. Stripped out the audio in LumaFusion didn't work. Muted the entire track and it's still bleeding through. At this point, it's obviously not an iMovie problem. There's something funky about this file. And I'm sitting there at home with just my iPad and I'm thinking, okay, if, if I open this in Final Cut, I'll probably see what the heck is going on. Maybe it's on. I'm thinking maybe it's on. It's a multi-track audio. It's like a four channel audio and they put it on tracks three and four. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. I don't know, but it's confusing as heck, but I don't have my laptop, so I'm gonna figure this out on here. So then I start looking on the App Store for apps that will remove the audio channel. And I find a few, I find a free one, it totally fails, it won't even work. I launch it, it just doesn't do anything. All right, so scratch that. So then I finally find iConv, I-C-O-N-V. It's like a covfefe, but it's for software. It's I-C-O-N-V as in iConvert, but iConv. And let's take a look at what that does. So here it is. It's a free app, ad supported, but what I discovered this morning was that once you've encoded a couple of videos, it says, oh, you gotta wait another 24 hours before you can do any more. So I had to spend the seven bucks to buy it just to do today's demo. Oh, lame, but we got it. So here, uh, we are, okay, are, this has three panes down at the bottom. You see it says source, converted, and settings. So we go into source, you click on the plus up in the top left, and you choose a video file. So I've already brought it in. This is the original video file, so if I play this, this should be the one with the audio. I don't know why we don't hear the audio in here. We should be hearing the audio in here. We're not. Hmm, interesting. Let's just start from scratch. Let's totally start from scratch here. Go to converted. Let's delete that. Yes, I'm sure. All, everything's gone. Okay, tap plus, local libraries. And so we only need to look at video in the camera roll. And, 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 and. Let me look at a blank screen and ha, ah, there it goes. Okay, and uh, the very first one, that's it at the bottom of the sun, right? That's it, right? Import, let's just play it. Let's make sure. Okay, I don't know why you guys aren't hearing. Volume's up, audio's on. That's weird that it's not actually playing the audio through here, but that's okay. We know that is the one. That is the one. Okay, so I'm going to take that, import that, and did it do it? Um, I guess it did it. Close. Yep, there it is. And so here's the audio. So now to convert this, you go tap and hold on that and you say convert. And we're going to go into advanced settings. And you can, there's two different ways to do this. Uh, you can go to include tracks and say include video only. What I did though, because I was really curious to see if I could figure out what the heck is going on, is down at the bottom under the audio settings, I'm looking at the tracks and it shows this one track. And I would assume I would see more than that, but that's what it shows. Audio encoder, it doesn't give me any other options here. Sample rate, 44.1, that's pretty standard. Bit rate's a little odd at 62, but whatever. We're just gonna leave it where it is. And then there's this force re-encode audio. And this is what I did. I figured if I force re-encode the audio, maybe that I'll put it into a format that is normal and other software will understand. So I hit done and it converted successfully. There we go, I go to the converted tab and there's the video. Let's see if I can play it now. Do we hear it? We still don't hear it, but that's okay. I don't know why we're not hearing the audio in this app, but I don't really care. So now let's go back over to LumaFusion and we're going to pick up where we left off. But before we do that, I am going to jump into my, whoops, wrong button. I'm gonna jump into the chat room and see what is happening over here before we get too far. Let's make sure this is, look, my ATEM software crashed again. Dang it, man, that's annoying. Uh, let's see here. Let me go back into the comments, see what is happening on this screen here. Major password change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Different openings, and we're talking about that. Okay, we have... Oh, somebody did get the email. 
Dave Dell Studio did get the email about the GH5 training. Okay, so it did go out. So that means that check your spam folders, guys. For those of you that said you didn't get it, please check your spam folder. Um, it, I think it comes from Joseph at photoapps.expert. I'm not actually sure. Dave Dell Studio, if you don't mind, uh, if you're able to, check a look at that email and see who it comes from. That Because uh, maybe that's part of it. Maybe it comes from a service email address. I'm actually not sure. And let's see here. Um, Eduardo says, have you tried the new 180 degree panel function that DJI added to the app yesterday? No. Okay, so that's why I got logged out of the app. They did an update. They forced an update, which logged me out. So um, no, that's cool. I will have to check that out. Uh, and Martin says that audio is weird as hell. That would annoy you like hell. Well, it did annoy me like hell. Okay, so there's all there is to that. Let me see if there's anything else I want to throw up here. So if you're wondering what the heck we're talking about at the email, that would be for the GH5 training, which is very, very, very nearly done. And it is, uh, well, it's completely recorded. We're doing the final stages of editing. It'll be all done by next week. So that means if you haven't bought it yet and you want to get it on pre-order, you got to do it now. You got to do it before the beginning of next week or you will be paying full price. Dave Dell Studio is confirming that it did come from photoapps.expert. So look for email from photoapps.expert. Search your system. I don't know. That is that is weird. Um, sorry, I don't know why the email didn't go to everybody. Okay, let's get back into this now. So back to this. Uh, we're just going to start over again, right? Just, yeah, let's just completely start over, start from scratch. Let's delete that. Let's delete that. And we'll go into the photos collection here. Go to the top. Go to uh, go one, one item dated today. Oh, that's handy. Uh, oh, wait, that's the thing I just exported. That's not what I want. Oh, I didn't, mm, I didn't actually export this thing. Come here. Up. Oh, let's go into here. My converted video. I must export this. Let us save to photos camera roll. Excellent. There we go. So now that's exported. So now, actually, we should, let's go back into here and play that. I know it gets a little confusing. There's so many of them, but that's the one, the 24-second long one. If I play it here, yeah, now we're hearing that sound. So for whatever reason, that conversion app just isn't playing the sound. So there it is. So now we're back where we started, except that we are starting with a converted video file. All right, so this should be, there it is. There's the file we just created, um, right? Double check that. No, that's the, that's the one with music. There's the one right there. Okay, that's it. So let's drag this guy onto my timeline. And now if I do the detach, it still shows the audio on there. So I was a little suspicious, but that's okay. I'm going to undo that. I am going to add my music track to this. iTunes back into, uh, where was it? Uh, grass. There we go. Drag that on. Let's do my little trimming on here. Isn't it nice that you have the touches visible on this app? I love it when a software developer does that. Anybody out there who makes iOS software, please, please, please always include this feature in your app. It makes it so much easier to do demos because you can actually see, the audience can see where I'm touching. Okay, so let's trim that down. I'm gonna trim that down as well. We'll add in my cross dissolves because we can. And uh, transitions, cross dissolve, add that onto there. Make that just a little bit longer. Add another cross dissolve onto here, leave it at the default duration. And of course, now I need to mute the audio. So the way that I did it for my final test, I didn't bother screwing around with it anymore, was I lowered this down. I suppose I could also mute it. Actually, I don't, you know what, I say that, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't do that that way. Maybe I did mute it. I don't actually remember. You know what, we're going to try the muting, muting method because that should certainly work. So we select that, select that, tap on edit, go to audio, and we're going to take the audio volume all the way down. So now the audio is down to zero on that track. So we back out of this, hit play, no propeller. We just hear the music. Let's export this thing, export the movie. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into here, oops, not into there, into the camera roll and delete. Come on, four finger swipe, there we go. And delete the other version that we created. This is the one that has the music and the propeller. Yep, I'm gonna delete that just so that we don't get confused on anything. So we delete that, delete that video. Okay, excellent. Back into LumaFusion. Render out, 720p, yada, yada, we're good. Hit save, writing movie. And with any luck, with any luck, there we go. Save has been complete. This is going to, oops, going to into the photos. There's my 20 second track. Voila, it's gone. Okay, so we know well, we don't know why yet, but we know the problem had something to do with the encoding. Something about that original file, it's on a, it's on a funky track that nothing is really recognizing properly. 
So now let's try to get to the bottom of this. So now I transfer that original file, the one that came off the cache, over to my Mac. And that should be what we have right here. So here's the original file. Now notice this. Hear anything? You don't, do you? That's kind of weird, right? We should be hearing the propellers, but we don't. So right away, right here, we're seeing there's something really weird. QuickTime is not playing this sound back. Obviously not, there's something weird about this thing. Okay, so now let's take this into Final Cut then. All right, so we, let's get rid of that guy. And is Final Cut still running? Yes, it is. So let's just take this and switch over to Final Cut and drop that into place. And we look over here, we see it's a mono track. Well, that's fairly normal. I mean, that's, uh, that should be fine. I'm not hearing the audio here either. Oh, wait, hold on, maybe that's my fault. No, nope, that's playing right. Okay, well, that's weird. All right, let's create a new project. And let's, uh, oh, where'd that music, where'd that video go? Oh, I don't know where the video went. Yeah, let's try that again. Swipe over, drop that in. Hello, import. What are you doing? Okay, I don't know why it's not showing up anywhere. That is just the weirdest thing ever. Okay, let's, this worked earlier today. <laughs> let's try importing. Let's see, where did I put this thing? I put this on my desktop. Um, 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 nope, that's the wrong desktop. Uh, here we go, desktop, let's go to there. Uh, sunset video, there's the original file. Just leave that in place, import that. Make sure it's not doing anything. Uh, it's not gonna do anything to it. Import that. Okay, seriously, now Final Cut's freaking out on me. Honestly, it's like it just doesn't want to work. All right, we're quitting Final Cut. We're going to try that again. I did look at that in Final Cut very briefly before just to make sure that it would import, and it did. So I don't know what this is all about. We're going to start from scratch in Final Cut. We're going to, let's go full screen on here. Let's create a new event. This is, uh, we'll call this Sunset. And there's the Sunset. Let's import the media from the desktop. There's the original file. Leave it in place. That's OK. Import that. There it is. All right, so now we got it. Let's create a new file, a new project file. And let's just drag this into the timeline. It says, do you want to match the settings? Yes, I do. I hit that. And now we hear the audio. It looks mono. There's nothing weird about it. I open this up. I open the clip. There's only one track in there. Nothing here that gives me a reason why this shouldn't work. OK, so let's try Handbrake. Let's see if Handbrake tells us anything. So I'm gonna to go to Handbrake, select this file, open that. And here we start to get a hint. Here it shows, under the audio settings, it shows this track is unknown. Unknown AAC, I don't think that should show that. I don't think it should look like that. If I, let me open another one. Let me open the actual final sunset that we did. Oh, it still shows unknown, two channel. Well then I have no idea. That is the weirdest thing ever. I just don't understand, can I do this? Oh, I can. I just don't understand why the system didn't like that audio, but I just, I, I, I'm at a loss. At least I found a solution. All right, so use iConvert on your iPad, re-render the file out either without the audio track included or just forcing the audio to re-render, and that seems to work. But man, that was a weird thing that was bugging the crap out of me last night, and I figured, hey, I'm gonna share this with y'all. So, Martin Print, gotta love Max, you know, Martin, you show me a PC that doesn't do act up like that. Ha, there you go. Uh, let's see what else is going on on here. And Marvin's saying if you join PhotoApps.expert, you can buy it through there and get a 20% discount. This is very true. He's talking about the GH5 printing. I'm actually surprised at how few people have taken advantage of that. It's like the little secret. You spend seven bucks for a month subscription and you're going to save 20% off of 60, which would be $12. So, you know, overall you save a few, I mean, it's only a few bucks, I guess. It's not that big a deal. But you do get, obviously, everything else you get with the subscription. So, so there is that. Um, Martin says, I guess that was my final warning to get the GH5 course at a bargain basement price. Snooze or lose? That it was, Martin. That it was. Eduardo says, according to DJI, the video on mobile phone is cache video. You can turn on this option to record audio on cache video. All right. But I like, uh, and in on the SD card, it doesn't record the audio for all DJI drones. Yeah, it do this doesn't have a, a microphone in it, so it would have to record from here which it doesn't because it's here and it's recording to here, so that makes sense. But I, I, I actually like that. I like having that audio there because if I'm having a dialogue, I want to hear it. Usually the drone's farther away, you don't hear that But um, last night I was just kind of right in my front yard going up and down in front of the trees. Anyway, um, Graham says, is that the new DPI drone? Is it much different? Oh, the DJI drone, <laughs> DPI. I thought you were making fun of me. This is the new DJI drone. Have you not seen this yet? This is the Spark. I love this thing. I do not own the Mavic, but it is uh, significantly different. It's smaller, lighter, 
Um, it's only 1080p. It's only got a 2-axis gimbal. I've done a bunch of videos on this. Here, we'll link to it right here. If I haven't already, we'll make a playlist, and that'll be linked there momentarily. But I'm having so much fun with this thing. I love this little guy. Oh, it's very cute. Oh, it's very fun. Neil, so that's it. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, I see questions coming up about GH5, so, so let's switch over to the commentary part of the show. We're going to wrap this guy up. If you have... Um, if you have any thoughts or questions about what happened here today or any input on why that might be happening, throw it in the comments. I would love to know why. And if it's a bug that I can report back to DJI, I would love to do that as well. We've already detected one bizarre thing. I started a conversation on the DJI forum that someone else picked up on and then did a big video about it where video coming off of the Spark into Final Cut shows up at 29.98 frames per second in 20, instead of 29.97 and plays back with a weird stutter. Uh, you can retime it to 2997, re-encode it to 2997, or you can set your timeline to just 30p. That seems to be the common way to fix that problem. Uh, I don't have the problem at Illumu, but what'll happen is on a, you'll see this weird stuttering to the video playing back. It's super annoying. So if you just Google, uh, Google, if you just YouTube search for Spark 29.98, I'm sure you'll find the videos that I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, that's that. Let's wrap this thing out of here and come back for the commentary. If you're watching live, stick around. Don't go far. We'll be right back in a second. If you're not watching live, then click on the box that's about to pop up on your screen to watch the commentary part of the show. See you in a minute.